In lesson six, we'll be looking at page properties and meta tags. Now this is actually a more advanced topic, but it's one that's important enough that you need to learn it early on so you can incorporate it into your daily process. We'll be looking at what page properties and meta tags are and how they work. We'll use the page properties dialog to set a page title, set a page description, define page keywords, and create custom meta tags such as author tags. Before we start working in Expression Web, let me explain to you what meta tags are. When you have a page on the web, you have a lot of information visible to the visitor, but there's also additional information hidden behind the scenes. And the only way to see this information is to literally go behind the scenes of the page. In Firefox, you can do this by going to Tools and clicking on Page Info. And here you'll see all the additional information that's hidden on the page. For instance, there's a description here that says 12 hours, 12 themes, 12 exposures. There's also information about what is generating this page, in this case, WordPress 3.0. And there's another description, a longer description, telling people what is on the page, as well as keywords. And most importantly, the page has a title. By title, I mean the information that appears at the top of the browser and at the top of each tab. This information is also what is sent to search engines. So when a search engine displays information about a web page, it's actually displaying the title. Now, if we go back to Expression Web, you'll see that currently the three pages we made, the title is either just default.html or untitled one, untitled one. This is where we're gonna start. Let's open the default HTML page and right click anywhere inside it. Here you'll see on the context menu, an option called page properties. Click on that to open the Page Properties dialog. In the Page Properties dialog, you can enter all that hidden extra information, such as title, page description, keywords, and so on. The title is, like I said, what appears at the top of the browser. So it should be a descriptive title telling people what is currently open. Let's just call this the Marathon Project Home page. Now notice that the title I'm setting here does not match the heading of the page. That is because I want to create a title that is as descriptive as possible. The same thing goes for the page description. Keywords are a bit different. Think of them as index cards or bullet lists for the page. What you do is you enter keywords that relate to the content of the page. You don't necessarily have to add keywords that match exact words in the page itself, but you add keywords that match to what you are talking about. In this case, we would add things like photography, marathon, photo marathon. Notice that I'm using commas to separate each of these keywords and keywords can actually be phrases like photo marathon or live lessons or video tutorial. There are no strict rules when it comes to keywords, except you really need to use keywords that actually relate to your page. So don't add keywords that don't make any sense just to get more visitors. If we click OK now and save the page and preview it in a browser, you'll see that the title of the page has changed. Before it was just default.html, now it's the Marathon Project homepage. And if we go to Tools and Page Info, you'll see here the keywords and the description. Now we can take this a step further by adding additional meta tags. To open the page properties, you can either do what we did before, go to Design View, right click, and select Page Properties, or you can go to File and Properties. It opens the same dialog. Now let's go to Custom, and here you see the keywords and the descriptions we already added. Now we can add additional meta information. By clicking Add, you can give the meta information a name. Let's call it Author, and enter your own name. Click OK, click OK again, save the page, and reload it in your browser. And you'll see, although the content didn't change, if we go to page info, there's now an additional field called author Morton Rand Hendrickson. 